The search for a good fluorescent under cabinet light continues. This is the General Electric UCF18 slash DW slash ADV under cabinet fluorescent light. There's uh, four of them in this box and they were quite economical. I paid about $35 for the box plus whatever the shipping was and at this point in time the a fluorescent tube alone for something like this would run you eight or ten dollars a piece so this is super cheap um, just on a side note I'm really outraged by what's going on with lighting in this country right now and this is not political this is just this is what's happening at the end of the year fluorescent and incandescent and halogen lights are being banned from sale and it's, it's baffling to me because we're in a, a material shortage, a major economic crisis, and resources are being devoted to forcing out of the stores obsolete light fixtures that hardly anybody buys anyways. And on top of that, the irony is that you can't get PC boards right now. They just, they're impossible to find. Products take months and months plus to ship that require any kind of PC boards and yet the only kind of lighting that we're going to be able to buy in the store is LED lighting which requires a PC chip in there with capacitors and um, diodes and things on them and so I suspect that we're going to or, or the uh, the country is going to dig a hole and end up in a lighting shortage because we're not going to be able to make the light bulbs and the kind of light bulbs that we can make, which don't require the PC chips that we can't get, are no longer able to be sold, which is just absurd. That aside, the reason I mention that is because right now I am stocking up pretty much on a lifetime supply, more or less, of these kinds of light bulbs. I bought over a thousand dollars worth of, of uh, halogen and incandescent light bulbs earlier in the week. And if these fixtures prove to be satisfactory, then I'm going to buy quite a few of these as well. And quite a few bulbs because I can get whatever I can now until the end of the year. And then other than uh, surplus supplies sold by private individuals at tag sales or things like that, there will be no more. So I, as this is a, a terrible time to be spending that kind of money, but there is really no other option so I found these on eBay which I really try to avoid but I found these on there there's only two or three different under cabinet models that I can find right now that are seemingly built with any degree of quality that uh, I can get in bulk uh, there's plenty of under cabinet fluorescent lights available right now used but or, or new old stock but they're all one-offs you know I need these for the kitchen I'm gonna have three or four fixtures on each side of the wall they have gotta match so I'm hoping that these work out because they're the most economical option that's I could find and there's over a hundred of them in stock so I can get enough probably only need about ten for the whole kitchen um, anyway so let's open these up and see what we have they're very heavy so that's a good sign. Um, they're made in China, so that's a bad sign. But let's see what we got. And these are General Electric, which you know used to be pretty much the trademark of a superior quality product, but nowadays they're just a name. I don't know how old these is, how old these are, whatever. Um, made in China they're probably newer you know I, I hope they're preheat in all the nine yards but if they look good while they're running that's really all I'm trying to evaluate here you know I'm not getting these to be cool collectible fixtures I'm trying to get these to be something that's gonna run every day in the kitchen so um, yeah, the individual fixture is very heavy that's good all right so let's see what we got here so we have these are 18 inch, I think they're T8, 
what are these? Um, hmm. Oh yeah, bulb included. That was very important to me because a lot of the other ones that I found that were available in bulk did not come with a bulb. Like um, this one, for example. I can get quite a few of these at a decent price, but they don't come with a bulb. So that alone is going to run those double the price. Um, and they were still more expensive than this anyways. So really, this is this. if these are nice, this would be the best and most economical option. So uh, it includes a warm light bulb, which is what I wanted. It's 15 watts, 18 inches. Um, it's not saying what the T size is. I wanted a T5 just because they're they last the longest and they're going to be the most sustainable going forwards. But I couldn't really find any that weren't like super cheap. So um, I'm pretty sure this is a T8. Okay, and the package is just straight up not opening. And is it open on the sides here? There it goes. I I remember the GE profile stuff from years ago. It does have some age to it. One of my grandparents had a GE profile. A microwave oven for a while, and that was older, uh, probably early 2000s, maybe late 90s. Um, here we go, we've got a day code right there, 03 2003. I don't know if that's just the copyright data on the manual or if that's the fixture's date. It doesn't look like it's all that old. So a local licensed electrician or electrician, if you're not sure, well I'm sure about it, so I'll just contact myself. Um, still is not talking about the bulb in here. Yeah, that should be like on the top. Takes a bulb, you know, F15 T8 or whatever, so you know you had to buy another one. Okay, let's see what we got here. Not sure how this opens, and the instruction manual isn't. I don't think it showed anything, did it? No, it shows how to. Doesn't really tell me much there. So I guess it just. Okay, so it is a T8. Made in Indonesia. Warm white. F15 T8. There's the information. F15 T8 replacement lamps. Made in the China. All right, so it looks like we have to we have to take at least maybe these two screws out in order to to get to the wire. This is all metal, which is what I wanted. Everything is metal here. So if you ever get a fire in here, it's not really going to be a big deal. I well, I should, it would be a huge deal if the thing catches on fire, but at least it would be it would be contained. You know, rather if it's plastic, it just everything blows up. All right, so we got there's no starter, so it's not preheat. Um, Transformer informations looks a little bit on the cheap side, but 
Hey guys, look at that. Yeah. Can't really see the winding because I got all the stinking tape all over it. And they included a bunch of uh, wire nuts and the, uh, the punch out thing there, so that's cool. It comes with everything you need. I have to find a bug. Okay, I got the plug. And the high side on this is the non textured side. It's an aluminium stranded wire on the high side, and then it looks like a solid, yeah, it's a solid wire copper on the low side. And the housing is grounded. Okay. Let's put the bulb back in. Um, I'll just slip this on here so we can see what it's going to look like. Kilowatts out. And I'll turn this on. Okay, we're looking at 120.3 volts. Well, it's not uh, it's not preheat. I guess it's rapid start, which is you know still not bad for the bulbs. Uh, it's really the instant start that seems to really burn through the bulbs real quick. All right, so it's not super warm seems kind of on the cooler side to me um, but again we don't really have any other options here um, that seems like a cool white to me I don't know how this is is it this? No. I know with fluorescent lighting the cool white tends to be kind of more like, uh, I mean, the warm white tends to be more like 3,000 Kelvin or even 4,000 Kelvin, and they consider that warm. So it's not going to be like a halogen would be, but uh, it's not bad because I mean, all it's got to do is sit in the counter like that. I mean, it's a decent quality light. I don't really see any flicker to it at all. Yeah, I, I could accept that. I don't mind that at all. And I think I would actually mount it like this. I, th I think in theory you're supposed to mount it like this, but I'd almost want the light to kind of... I'd mount it towards the front of the cabinet and let it shine on the wall. Yeah, because otherwise it doesn't really shine on the wall too much. Well, it's not quite as good as I was hoping for but I think the quality of light is fine it's, it's acceptable and uh, it's economical and it's available so all those things combined I think this will be what, I, what we go for So that's drawing uh, 36.9 the watts, the power factor 0.69, and the amps of 0.3. Uh, it seems like a decent enough quality fixture. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and order some more of these, and this is probably what I'll end up using in the kitchen. 
it's causing a weird effect on the camera does it do that at all angles let's see because that could be an issue because I am going to be recording in the kitchen No, it looks okay. I guess it's just when it's directly at the camera. Alright, well, oh, here's the date code. It is uh, 0902. So they're two decades old. Alright, well, this is what I'll be getting for the kitchen. Good enough. The switch has kind of a nice feel to it.